Um, oh, it's well, um, um, shut it's philosophical. Um, <laughs> yeah. I always wanted to know what the goal was around me. Because science was the only thing that could keep my attention and make me happy. Something that's apart from or out of the norm of whatever is in my family. So I'm the first scientist and I've been interested in helping people, but I've never wanted to be in direct contact with them. So as a scientist, you get to work on samples and you get to help people, but not be in direct contact with them. When I was younger, I wanted to a forensic scientist and uh, actually doing exactly what I wanted to do when I was a child. I'm doing forensic research. So I always wanted to do and then I wanted to do science but I wanted to do research and yeah I'm doing it. Um, it's something that always interested me in school. I was good at biology. Um, I enjoyed learning about genes and genetics was kind of my um, my my Principal focus, and it just it was really fascinating to me. Um, I actually studied graphic design first, and um, I wasn't really well suited. So I came to UCT and um, to talk to the career um, advisor, the career guidance counselor, mm -hmm. and they were offering scholarships for people to study BSc. Mm -hmm. So I thought, oh well, I'll just give it a go. Um. Yeah, so it's obvious uh, Africa faces a lot of um, health-related issues, uh, infectious disease. Um, sort of grew up seeing some of my friends were orphans. Um, their parents died from HIV, and so I became fascinated, um, you know, with this, this disease, you know, killing people at a young age. So later on, I got to know more about it, and it drew a passion in me to, to do something. Well, for me, it was out of curiosity and um, seeing how small things like microorganisms or things like a, a gene, how they can have such a huge impact on a whole human body. That fascinated me and I wanted to know more. It, was, it seemed very interesting. Um, struggled with first year quite a lot like school but then mm -hmm. once I got into second year and started doing microbiology and genetics and I just loved it and it turned out to be a great fit. Um, the, yeah, the ever-changing methodology. Um, to discover something new. It feels like I'm, there's a possibility that I could be making a difference. Um, studying HIV, it's a, it feels that, like I could give back to the world in some way, I guess. My favourite thing about science is that it's very stimulating. Um, sort of new discoveries. Learning new things, learning things that I didn't know about the world. To make the world a better place. So every day is a new day, you get to do different things every day. It's not a boring... It's not a boring job, mm -hmm. so you get to be um, do exciting new things pretty much every day. The research, uh, being able to actually make a difference in people's lives. The satisfaction of finding something exciting. Sometimes you think, you know, you read a textbook and you think everything's established, but uh, you realize there's more, you know, there's more stuff to be discovered. Like irrespective of it being the science that I'm doing or something else, I love learning new things. To understand how the human body works. You know when you're having an argument with someone and you don't have facts or like evidence to support it, whereas with science it's like you have something to back up what you're saying. And for me that's, that's, that's what I love the most about it. I have something to prove that yes, what I'm saying is true. The test that we're developing to pick up uh, female genital tract information has been really exciting for me to actually do something um, translational that will potentially benefit women directly. I've discovered 
methods and things about the body and about how infectious diseases work. Oh yeah, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, apart from sleeping? When I'm not in the lab, yeah. I practically live in the lab. Um, I guess I'm a normal person, like <laughs> standard things like what, what everyone does over the weekends and in the evening. <laughs> so I'm never really in the lab anymore anyway. <laughs> but I'm, um, I'm always writing and analyzing data. Oh, I'll tell the lab. Yeah. Um, I play games, video games. <laughs> Let's just say I was up at two this morning. <laughs> no, no. Um, I please take that out. <laughs> um, <laughs> when I'm not in the lab, I'm here. I read and I play with my cats. Uh, eating? Oh, I like to go to gym, hang out with friends, go hiking, love food. When I'm not in the lab, I love listening to music. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a normal, I'm a scientist, but I'm a normal person, I have friends, like, go for movies, drinks, dinner, whatever. <laughs> and hiking, and, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, playing football, football is, uh, really love football, um, being outdoors, hiking, um, and just, just relaxing with friends. But when I'm not here, and I'm not in the lab, and I'm not doing other work, which is admin and data analysis, then I'm probably sleeping. Okay. And what movies? Um, I have two young kids, so I mainly just run around after them. And I, I paint as well, when mm -hmm. I get time. And reading books, science fiction. Um, I eat a lot of ice cream. Yeah, I go home and um, I drink juice and then go to bed. <laughs> I drink. <laughs> I go for a drink for five and then I try again. Cry. <laughs> oh, oh, science goes wrong. First of all, my hair. Um. I actually usually phone my husband. <laughs> Shame poor guy. Science goes wrong all the time. <laughs> and, uh, and I try again until it works. I get a bit frustrated. Mm -hmm. But... And usually I just take a break from it for a while. Um, you, yeah, it's kind of, uh, my first, my first experience was when I was trying to optimize something, you, you come to the lab, there's a protocol, you think, ah, this is, this is going to happen, and then you, and then it's a total failure, um, and then you experience that a lot. And repeat, ice cream and try again? There's, I guess it's the, I mean, science teaches you how to troubleshoot and um, look at things from different perspectives and solve problems and... But then afterwards, I've, I look at it like a puzzle. I try to find out what went wrong. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, probably go home, have a glass of wine. Uh, you start asking, is it me, you know, what's, what's wrong? Um, but eventually, yeah, you learn that it's part of science. Um, and kind of drives to make it better. Um, so when it goes wrong, it's just like it's another day. Mm. Let's try again. I mean, just keep trying until, um, yeah, ask, ask for help. Get, get different ideas and yeah, hopefully it will work out eventually. I go through each step and try to figure out what was, at what point did I make a mistake? And I figure out from there how to make it better afterwards. Do the experiment again. Well, like a few hours, not like months or years. <laughs> and then, like, I just tell myself that things go wrong. It's science. It just come up with something that will work. But I've learned to, I don't know, it doesn't get to me as much as it used to. Mm -hmm. I kind of learned to deal with the failures because 
it happens so often. So when something's not funded or an experiment goes wrong, mm. it's like, I'm so used to it now. <laughs> so you just troubleshoot and you just get back at it. Read and find out what has been done so that you can try and come up with a way that will work. Uh, it's to hopefully improve lives. Um. So the point of science is learning, finding out what you don't know, figuring out how something works. Um, well, I mean, the principal focus is just to like further understanding of how the world works, how, um, well, I guess, in our field, how biological systems work. And the point of science mm -hmm. is to solve problems. That's the point of our science to solve human problems, disease problems. Like you can see from mother to child transmission, like discoveries, like you, like you see massive improvement. Like babies born to HIV positive mothers cannot live long, um, and those are like some of the like greatest like encouragement milestones that you. Well, I mean, in health sciences, it's to improve healthcare and learning its components. That's what I think science is. Science is, it's, yeah, learning. So for me, science is saving lives and um, making impacts uh, in the long run. Okay. To make the quality of life much better. As I said earlier, like it will, it's hopefully a, um, a stepping stone to, to helping the world in, um, at least overcoming the diseases and um, yeah, allevi alleviating some of the hardships in the world. Figuring out how the world works around you. To discover a lot of, yeah, basically discovery of many different things. Finding evidence and testing theories and finding results. To contribute to that, like you're contributing to a much bigger plan. Although it doesn't seem like it now, but I know at the end of the day it will make sense. It will make, make a huge difference, yes. Um, yeah. So I think that everything we do and all of the, the data we generate and um, all goes towards improving the well being of South Africans and people yeah, globally. Yeah.